I made a program that may interest you if you like Animal Crossing GameCube. I've spent the last several months developing this program that rewards you with tickets for completing tasks as you play the game. These tickets can then be exchanged for items in the shop that you can obtain in the game using the existing Nook code system. Inspired by Nook Miles Plus from Animal Crossing New Horizons, I designed this town tickets program to give people a new and exciting reason to play the game again, or for the first time. I've personally had a great time over the last month playing Animal Crossing, starting from a brand new town using my town tickets program, and others have too. If you'd like to try it out, I've released this program open source, completely free, where you can find a link in the description. The first thing I'd like to mention is this program is not a mod, nor does it connect to your game in any way. It is a standalone program that you use on your PC while you play Animal Crossing on a GameCube or Wii like normal. I'll now show the start of my adventure in Task Town and discuss how my Town Tickets program works, such as how tasks are assigned as you play and how seasonal and rare items are unlocked in the shop. My goal is to 100% Animal Crossing by unlocking all the items in the Town Tickets shop. This is the beginning of my journey. So without further ado, let's start a brand new town, Task Town. Here we go. Ah, fantastic. This is going to be a great time. I'm excited. Okay, let's get into the casual mindset. A casual player does not need to speedrun, though I am kind of in a time crunch to get to Tortimer before 6 p.m. today. It's not the end of the world, but I would like to. Tasks are logically assigned to you based on the current time and day, as well as which tools you have access to. If Nooks is closed, you won't get tasks to sell things to Nook, and if you don't have a fishing rod, you won't get tasks to catch fish. As for time-based tasks, despite being a standalone program, it still knows, for example, October 9th, 2023 is Explorer's Day. And if you load your town after the holiday event is over for that day, that holiday task will not be assigned since it would be impossible to complete. You'll just have to wait until next year. Well, we'll see what happens. I can always make another character. Yo, Aether, thank you for the sub. Thank you very much. I appreciate that data I can't see. Oops. All right, and we are going to Task Town. Because this is a standalone program, you must click the task yourself to progress and claim it. New tasks will replace the completed ones. Once you've completed a task, you won't get it again for at least five more tasks. Crossing into the stream in my way, actually. Oh, I know she- I have my e-reader binder, e-reader card binder in front of me. I knew she was going to love this thing. I knew she was instantly going to get attached to it and want to sleep on it. I know she's going to. Good Jade, let me move this. Yeah, she's returning to it. <laughs> Jade. Good Jade. I know, it looks so comfortable, doesn't it? Oh, that's awesome, Aether. You're gonna try out the Town Tickets program? Good. It's a lot of fun. And it will, I estimate it'll take like 200 hours to complete. Maybe a little more. So there is a lot to do in the Town Tickets program. Yo, Flame Shirt. And we got some crazy eyes. Those are not the eyes I was expecting to get. But if those are the eyes we end up with, so be it. They're fine. They're just look at look how fast this character wants to go. So many tasks to complete. <laughs> One feature I added that isn't in New Horizons is the ability to decrease the task quantity amount and also discard it if it's at zero by right-clicking the task. It will cost tickets to discard it, and it gets more expensive the more tasks you discard in a day. This can be helpful if you get stuck with a task you can no longer complete or you don't want to bother doing. All right, very good. So I hope everyone's doing well today. Hope everyone's ready for some chill Animal Crossing. I know I am. Oh, I do need my keyboard for the town map layout. Not yet. Once you've gotten some tickets, you can visit the town tickets shop where you can exchange tickets for items in the game. Rare items such as crazy red furniture, Gulliver furniture, and others are initially locked. For example, to unlock crazy red items, you must first buy 50 Nook furniture in the shop. Each group of rare items have their own unlock requirements that get progressively more expensive. In addition to unlocking items, there are also seasonal items only available during specific times of the year, just like in New Horizons. You'll have to play regularly throughout the year to get access to them. 
All these different groups of items can be filtered and sorted in the shop so you don't have to guess which items are rare or seasonal. Finally, you may be wondering about the hardest item to get in any Nintendo game ever, the post model. But yes, if you're curious about the Town Tickets program, you can download it yourself. If you type FAQ or, or exclamation mark FAQ or exclamation mark download, you can find it. We got ourselves an A2 Nooks. I really like what I'm seeing here. Let's see what our town looks like. Come on. Come on. Yes. First try. Exactly what I was hoping for. We Look at that river. Well, there's a two-thirds chance I don't like it, but I'm going to accept this. Let's go. We already got ourselves a good town. Let's go ahead and get that... Uh, that displayed here the post model this is unlocked in the shop after obtaining every single other item in the game including all the seasonal items so expect to play for a long time to unlock the post model let's get comfortable this is going to be our town for a while this is going to be our town for well for this entire let's play this is exciting all right i think first thing i want to do is go check out this river so we're going to go ahead and greet our villager down here, since we need to greet villagers anyways. I want to see what river we got. I really hope we got the best river. That would make me so happy. I Is this the right way? And yes, I got the flame shirt. How awesome is that? Alright, here's our river. Let's check it out. Yes! It's not the best... Uh, river, but it's not the it's the second best. It's not the bad one. This is perfect. I mean, honestly, I don't want the world's best river because that's what a speedrunner would want. I want something a little more casual, but also practical. This is so cool. When you're ready to pick up an item in the game, the town tickets catalog will have a list of nook codes you've unlocked. Some codes only work for a specific town name and player name, so you'll have to tell the town tickets program that info. All right, so. Let's go ahead and check out our tasks. We got ourselves our town. This is amazing. Let's see what our tasks are. All right, here are our tasks. Our first one is visit Tortimer today for Explorer's Day. So I need to do that before Tortimer leaves at 6. We have to plant some flowers, greet some villagers, and shake something out of a tree, and change the menu background. So nothing's stopping us from completing tasks already. This is especially cool because you can unlock all the tools on the first day when it normally takes several days for Nook to decide to sell all the different tools in his shop. Now you can start fishing and bug hunting without the wait. And if you want to decorate your house with a specific piece of furniture, now you don't need to randomly find it while playing. You can focus on obtaining it by completing tasks and buying it in the shop. One helpful hint I can give you is to save and quit after receiving three items from Nook Codes. This will let you get more on the same day, otherwise Nook will say he's out of items to give. This also works with ordering items from your catalog in the game. <clears throat> it does help visualize, but it's not actually capturing the cursor despite it saying it is. <clears throat> oh, I heard a villager. Okay, so we greeted a villager. And we've greeted another villain. Oh, Sakura, you ask what's stopping you from just claiming that you've completed tasks? Nothing. Nothing is stopping you. You can just spam complete tasks if you feel like it. This is this does not connect to an emulator. This does not connect to your game in any way. You just played alongside it. Alright, we've greeted three villagers. 250 Tickets acquired. That's a good one. There's one last thing I implemented in my town tickets program, which is the achievements page. If you like going through all the hard work you've done, you can check out your achievements, which shows you how many tasks you've done, how many of a specific task you've done, how many items you've bought, and other info. I personally enjoy going through this after a long day of completing tasks. The same idea. Alright, we got Alfonso. I'm liking these villagers so far. <laughs> and... Who is... I'm missing someone. Someone down here? Who did I miss? 
Oh, I missed someone by the museum. Oops. Ah, uh, this feels so good to be a casual right now. I'm really embracing the casual mindset. Hey, there's the golden spot. And we got Tom. Very cool. Golden spot. We actually have really good villager layout for just like doing a speed run. <laughs> that should fully explain the town tickets program I made. This is the beginning of my journey. All right. Hello, Nook. Hello. Is it time to start working? So my goals for today, for day one, I'm going to try to get a perfect town if I can help it. <clears throat> uh, I should be able to, especially if, even if I need an axe. Shouldn't be a big deal. I'm going to try to get a perfect town. I am going to... Let's see. Actually, let me think about this. Where do I want to plant these flowers? I actually want to make this place nook look nice around nooks. Red tulips. Put some nice flowers here. Oh, we definitely need to put some flowers around the house. Yes, for sure. We'll put a couple flowers around the house. Nice. You know what? Let's put one over here as well. <clears throat> yeah, that looks that looks awesome. And I'll put one here. Let's do... Yeah. That looks good. I like that. And then I'll put one over here. What do you guys think? How about here? Yeah. Oh, it feels so good to be a casual right now. It feels so good to have the casual mentality. I don't know where these trees could grow, but I like the idea of putting a tree right here. And I like the idea of putting some trees up here. And we'll put one... Yeah, right here. <clears throat> Very good. <laughs> wow, Soccer, you have a lot of questions. That's great. So, how does the program determine daily tasks? There's a ton of logic based off the time that it is that the that the program is set at and that is based off of your computer's time but you can manually change that if you'd like in within the program itself <clears throat> uh, time zone doesn't matter it's just your computer the 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 tasks are randomly generated there's some logic to it so People may have the same starting tasks, but once you complete a task, it will be replaced with a new one, randomly generated, within logic, based off of what time it is in your game, as well as, you know, what day it is, what year it is. Lots of logic to it. I spent a long time making sure that this works out really well. I recommend just trying it. Just try out the Town Tickets program, and you'll see that it works pretty well. I'm really hoping that it works well for, like, everyone's different computer setups. We've only tested it on a few different computer setups, and it works fine. But, you know, I don't know. The only thing that I do know is you have to have a monitor resolution of at least 1920 by 1080. Which, any modern computer from 2019 on will definitely have that, unless it's like a really cheap laptop or something. So it should be fine for the majority of people, but there was just, um, that was, that's the only limitation, and my, the README should explain all of that. So make sure to check out the README if you plan on playing Town Tickets. It will explain all the different things you need to set up on your computer. It's very simple. Most computers, it's ready to go straight off the, you know, right off the bat. But there may be a few things you have to adjust in your display settings. Ultra wide is fine. 
it doesn't like stretch or anything like that. It's just straight up 1920 by 1080. All right, so Tom's Tom Nook said a letter to Tom, right? Was I reading that right? Tom. Um. What what do I say to Tom? Oh, geez, I'm playing casually. Um. <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Exclamation mark. I know what to say. Here we are. All right, I've casually written a letter. That's so fun. <laughs> ah, yes. Unfortunately, though, my post office is kind of far away. Did I even did I write it right? Wait, did I have a typo? I was just typing so fast. Let me know if you need if you help around town. Oops. A little bit of whiteout. Let me know if you need help around town. No. No. Ah, the casual gameplay. This is great. Alright, typo fixed. Good catch. Anyways, 5.30. I think I should make it to Tortimer in time. Yeah, I'll definitely make it. If you want to change the program to have flexible dimensions... I would greatly appreciate that. But it would take that would take a very long time. Lots of effort. So it is what it is. If anyone wants to do that, the program is open source. So feel free to try. <laughs> oh, I planted flowers around town. Let's claim those tickets. Here we go. All right, who needs help around town? I this this task is sell an item to a villager. So we'll uh, we'll deal with that later. You need any help, Tank? Oh, you want to? Oh yeah, sure, I can do it. I can do that for you, Tank. No problem. I'll catch her later. So I'm thinking of my game plan. My game plan for today is I want to make a perfect town. I want to pay off my first debt. I want to get like 10,000 tickets. Save up 10,000 tickets would be nice. And I want to set my birthday. Um, I want to definitely go to Tortimer for Founders Day. And get my reward. And I want to... I want to start working on unlocking things in the shop. So lots of items in the shop, like rare items, are locked behind things you have to accomplish in the game. Or in the town tickets program. So for example, crazy red items... In order to unlock the ability to purchase those, you have to first purchase 50 Nook furniture items. And then several other items are going to be, or will have similar unlock requirements. And they just, the, the rarer items are going to be harder and harder to unlock. So the post model, for example, you have to unlock every other item, in, or every other furniture item in the entire game in order to unlock the ability to purchase a post model. Oh yeah, Tom. Where's Tom at? Oh, right there. So I want to work on unlocking as much as I can today. So that I can start getting closer to unlocking rare items. 
So those are my goals for today. There you go, Rhoda. Yeah, it looks ravishing, for sure. Oh, is the outfit you were just wearing? If I delivered that to Patty, I would have gotten that shirt. What do we get, though? Red tie-dye. That might look nice as a background. Oh, it does. Change the menu background. Done. All right. We got various villager things to do now. <clears throat> so we'll we'll do that later. That'll be a good task while I'm setting my birthday. Ah, thank you, Miyataki. I appreciate that. It is a lot of fun. I'm excited. I'm excited to start my let's play of this. This is going to be a a uh, recurring series. This I will continue this series for a while. I'm gonna I'm probably gonna stream a lot more now now that I've finished this program, where I'm just casually playing Animal Crossing and completing tasks, having fun. It'll be a good time. And I think I've got my stream set up pretty nicely. Where I don't have to... Uh, where I got everything managed pretty well. I'll show off the shop here once I'm ready to purchase an item. I'll probably start off with the rod or the net. Alright, first message. Um, happy... Um, tickets. Release day. Oh, you know what? Remember. Remember to have fun. We don't want to get into, like, a speedrunning mindset. This is casual. So we gotta play casually. This is a let's play. It's a shift in my thinking. I think it'll get easier as I... as I play more casually. All right, we're finished up with chores. This is exciting. We can get started. I need to run down to the wishing well. ASAP. Yes! Chores complete! I'm free! Let's go down to the wishing well. Fantastic. And there's a ball. I'm gonna first claim this Tortimer task, and then I will continue. Tortimer, it's Founder's Day. It's the second Monday in October. There you are. Yes! Something... Someone explored something today. That's right. Fantastic. A bottled ship. Success. Excellent. Alright, look at that. Already 900 tickets. Now, there is a task to uh, redeem tickets, so I'm going to wait to redeem my tickets until I've completed, or until I've acquired that task. So, next, let's run around town and look for some water to kick this ball into. Oh, you know what else I need to do? I need to find a pond around town. If I don't have a pond around town, I'm going to be very sad. There should be. There, the odds of no pond are extremely unlikely at this point, based off the town layout. But I do want to go look for one. Alright, we've kicked a ball in the water. <clears throat> Moving along. Let's go look for a pond. There's a pond. Alright, we're good. Alright, very good. Moving along here. Um, next up... You know what, let's just get this out of the way. I want to set my birthday, and I also want to <clears throat> sell some stuff. Before I sell things, though, I definitely want to save my bottled ship. <clears throat> and I'll write a message on the message board as well. 
I think my message will be um how to or what my goals are today. Today's Oh, I just realized I have two villagers in the same acre, so I can see villagers whistle really easily. Yes, that is super helpful. Today's goals. One. Um. Ten K tickets. Two. Get <clears throat> all tools. Three. Um, hey. First, get four. Oh, there's a lot of things I want to do today. Perfect. It'll be good to reference this as well throughout the night. Perfect town. Five. Uh. <clears throat> what it? What? What else do I want to do? You know what? Let's say, let's set a preliminary goal of by twenty. 225. Let's set the bar high. 25 nook furniture. There we go. Today's goals. Done. Message on the message board. Change your furniture inside? That's perfect. I was just about to do that anyways. Nice. And what, what carpet did we get? We got an imperial tile? Sure. We'll keep that for now. Bottled ship. Done. Redeem town tickets. Excellent. Alright. I would love to do that. Let me let me get a little bit more money. Oh, there you go. I shook some bells out of a tree. Done. Interact with three furniture inside. That's fine. I'll do that in a little bit. Next up. I want to get the shovel and get the first item. Oh, this is exciting. Alright, let's see if I can get 500 bells out of this. And sell that, sell that, sell that. That should be 500. Oh, yeah, the train car model is really good. Alright, so I sold one furniture. That's a lot of money, actually. That's great. <clears throat> get the shovel. So... I will get the shovel, which means I now have a shovel. So shovel-related tasks will now pop up. And I want to buy some more flowers. <clears throat> I know I will need stationery at some point. How much is this? This is more than I have right now, right? Oh, just barely. Right, that's fine. So next up, I want to redeem some town tickets, so it's time to go shopping. So here we go. Here's the shop, everyone. This is exciting. I, oh, I will not be time traveling. No, I'll be playing real time for the entire Let's Play. No time traveling whatsoever. So here we go. Here's the shop. Welcome to the Ticket Exchange Center. You may filter your selection up above. Please have a look around. So right now, it is filtered everything. Group everything. Available. Yes. Sort by catalog order. So here we can see furniture, carpets, wallpaper, clothing, handhelds, stationery, gyroids, fossils, music, and miscellaneous. The first, or these, these, these nine in the middle, those are your standard catalog groups, or categories, standard cat catalog categories. And then over here, we can filter a little further. For everything we have, uh, we have the Nook group, Seasonal, and Catalog. So, first things first, I want to get a net. I want to start catching bugs. And then I'll do Fishing Rod afterwards. 
So we go over to handhelds, and now we can filter by tools. <clears throat> so we click tools, and here are our available tools we can purchase. They are all 1,000 for the tools because they're, you know, they're important. So I want a net. So I'll click the net. It's a fine net. Total comes to 1,000 tickets. What do you say? Yes. There we go. Success. Thank you for your patronage. Please check your catalog for delivery instructions. Thank you. So there we go. We have purchased the net, which means we can go back to our tasks and redeem the town tickets. Ooh, plant a coconut. Next, we go to our catalog to claim it. Hello, Nook. Welcome, valued customer. This is your personal catalog. Please specify which item you'd like to claim. So here we go. Here's what we've purchased. A net. So we can claim it now. So I click it. Your net is ready for pickup. Please let me know when you receive it in your game. And here's our code. Hello, Nook. I have a net code. Let's hope this works. I would be very sad if it didn't, but it should. X. End if. That's a crazy coincidence. End if. Alright, let's see if that works. Yes! We got our net! A net has arrived for you. Here you go. Thank you much. I got it, Nook! Received. And there we go. We have purchased the net. It is no longer available. But now we have it in the game! Nice! Now we go to my town. We've got the net. Bug tasks will now start appearing. Let's go! That was fun. <clears throat> so, plant a coconut is an interesting task. I guess I guess I'll go do that. Why not? Well, you know what? Let me see if I can get another island-related task. Let me see if I can get another island-related task. So, in that case, I want to set my birthday. Let's get this out of the way. So this just requires you to interact with all the villagers. Interact with them a bunch until you have your birthday set. <laughs> Basically a tutorial. <laughs> 5 p.m. music is great. Ah, you know what? This task I can do right now. Let's uh, let's break up this monotony. Interact with three furniture inside. What do you got here, Rhoda? Oh, you have a flame shirt. That's fun. Cool. All right, we can sit down. One piece of furniture. Two piece of furniture. And the K funk. There we go. Eat something. I will do that on the island. I'll eat one of those coconuts. <clears throat> See what else we can do. Because I want to save as many fruits as I can for a perfect town. And I got oranges in my town. This town's... Oh my goodness, this town's so perfect. <laughs> I just realized how perfect this town is. I got oranges. I can get all the fruits without having to type in codes. That's amazing. Well, I, you can do that anyways, but I can do it easily. What a great town. Yeah, that's right. That's one of the bugs that the original Animal Crossing devs implemented, or they, they left in, or they, they introduced into the game. If you have anything but peaches or oranges in town, you can't get oranges. Except through the island. <clears throat> but, I got oranges, so no worries. Would I like an in logo for my birthday? I would love that. Alright, 
we can get through this. Birthday. There we go. March 26th. Cool. Alright, we, we established the birthday. That has been set up. All good. Where's that Tom character? There you are. Alright, so Tom... Uh, I should get something to sell to Tom. Now that I think about it. Let's see, what do I want to do? Let me... Let's just see if Tom... I don't know. Wants, in, wants to give me something for free. So he doesn't need anything done. Okay. Alright, we already got ourselves a pair. <clears throat> I will... I might as well go eat an orange. That actually does sound really yummy. Because we got ourselves a pair. Oh, and here, let's get ourselves a little bit more money. <clears throat> Excellent. Oh, I made one critical mistake. I kind of wanted to plant a golden tree here. But it's too late, so... Whatever. Let's just plant a money tree. Oops. This might not even grow. That actually might on, might be on a road that doesn't grow trees. We'll see. I just got so excited to get a little bit more money. Oh, well. So, moving along here. Let's eat an orange. Golden shovel is not really that useful. We can get one tomorrow, potentially. Alright, oh, plant a tree. Very good. Let's do that. So, I want to plant a pear tree. Where do I want to plant this pear tree? Hmm, where to plant the pear tree? How about right... No, I want to look at the pears. Where would be a good spot? Here seems good. Right there. Alright. Tree planted. Change a feng shui item inside. Alright. Um. Let's see if any of these villagers. Where did Sydney go? Oh, there she is. Ooh. Need anything? Okay. See if I can get... Get me to do something. Give me something. Hank, you and Sydney should chat and then whistle. I want some free stuff. Okay, you just made Sydney mad. <laughs> there we are. Yes, Tank. 
Birthday's still on March 26th. The sports tourney, that's in, that's so long from now. Oh my goodness, Tank. What do you got for me? Good evening. 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 Alright, Sydney, do you have anything for me? Well, I went for that. Come on. What do you want? Um, don't have time. Oh my goodness. Alright. Let's, uh, let's move along. What else? What else should I do? I guess I could just go to the island. Yeah, let's just go to the island. Let's just go to the island. I need to plant a coconut. I need to get a feng shui item somehow. Get my Game Boy ready. Interesting. Well, I have it plugged into the e-reader. Will that will that work for Captain? Or do I have to? Oh, interesting. You can't do the e-reader and the island at the same time. I actually did not know that. Alright, hello, Captain. What island do I want to visit? Hmm. Let's see, how about... Should I do Jade Island? You know what? I want to do something related to Pokemon. Let's do Cinnabar. Wait, is this how you spell Cinnabar? I'm googling it. Yeah, that's right. Alright. Cinnabar Island. Very good. Put in, uh, yeah, put it, we can make some donations towards the island name. Yep, sounds good. We'll make a new island. Yeah, that is a fun fact, Kyler. There's a bug in the program where coconuts are supposed to be able to spawn on the island. But, because of the devs, bugs, they, uh, they don't. They can't actually do that. It doesn't actually happen. It is unused code. Very sad. Well, it's used, but they there's no way to access the code. No way to get it to happen. To, for the coconuts to spawn. Yeah, what a bummer. Let's see who our islander is. Oh, we... Oh, we got... Oh my goodness, we got Anka. Hello. How perfect. <laughs> 
How cool. We got Anka. Let's go. And we got this cool little bridge over to our island. Amazing. Amazing. Am absolutely incredible. Beautiful. All right. How... What a perfect... What a perfect first town. Literally first try. Everything's perfect. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. I've ever seen an ivory piano. Oh my goodness, that takes that's gonna be so hard to get, Anka. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what else do you want? <laughs> oh, you want the work uniform? No. You're not wearing a work uniform. I'll give you a better looking shirt later. Alright, let's get some, some of these seashells, make a little bit of money. I might as well pick them all up. Well, nah, I'll leave some. Because I want to bring some coconuts back. Yeah, that's good. I'll bring... Let me bring two more coconuts back. And then call that good. For now. Very good. You know, I'm thinking about it. It's honestly fine that I didn't... That, it, that the golden spot isn't going to grow a golden tree. Well, it could have, but I don't know if it will. But it's fine, because I'm not even going to be able to play on Friday. Which is when it would grow. So it's all good. All good. I do plan on streaming every day this week. Except for Friday. I don't know if I'll start early like I did today, but I do plan on it. Anyways, I should pick up the pace a little bit. I would like to get a few more tickets. Anyways, this is fun. I'm having a great time so far. If I can knock out these two on the left here, I think I'll be able to speed up this process a little bit more. There's plenty of tasks to see. We just need to get there. I might get a nook item so I can change a feng shui item inside. Thinking about it. But I need a feng shui item. Anyways, first things first, let's play in the coconut. Let's plant one. Uh, not here, because there's only four trees here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Better. Yeah, there needs to be some more trees. Oh, we got such a good beach for ocean fishing. That's fantastic. But yeah, let's go ahead and plant a coconut tree here. Palm tree. Ooh, I need to find a money rock today. There we go. Complete a villager quest? Yeah, I'd need to do that. And additionally, I want to get some flowers planted around. Because um, I want to increase my odds of having a perfect town sustainable as I play. I want to be able to sustain a perfect town. We got a cool little overlook here. Very nice. So I want a flower in every acre. That would be good. Oh, I should catch some of these bugs before 7. When several of them go away. Go ahead and do that. Catch a few of these bugs. Sell some of these seashells. 
keeping an eye out for a migratory locust. I think the red dragonflies are gone. The crickets are out. Not nah, doesn't really matter. We have all of October to catch these bugs. And then most of them will stick around in November, or many of them will. Alright, hello, Nook. I need some more money. Alright. I need an umbrella that I will eventually need to spin. Oh, I also want to buy out Nooks to get all the all the uh, regular tickets. All right, let's do a villager quest. Villager quest time. Who needs something done? Alfonso. What do you need? Dang, no one needs anything done. Then he didn't need anything earlier. Rhoda, what about... Ah, red dragonflies. Let's catch these. Red dragonflies are going to be so convenient when I need to catch five bugs. And there are just five red dragonflies flying around. Come on, someone definitely needs something done. Tom, what do you need? What do you got for me, Tom? Where are you? There we go. Do it. Complete a village request. Hopefully I can get rewarded with some furniture. That would be very good. Man, what a great town layout. This is perfect. There's our migratory locust I wanted to get. Excellent. Oh, and while I'm down here, I want to drop off some coconuts to plant for later. I'll just put them over here. Coconuts for later. Ah, there's a buried treasure on the beach over there. Hello, Patty. That is your Game Boy, yes. Were you playing Pokemon Red, perhaps? <laughs> Alright. Village request complete. We got a new outfit. Catch five bugs. Fantastic. What do we get? A You Are Here shirt. We'll, we'll save that. We'll save that shirt. And you know what's cool? Is I can just get rid of this work uniform and not feel guilty because I could just buy it again from the shop. And I can just get it again. And I don't have to be like, well, there's, it's impossible to get this thing again without making a new villager. I can just straight up get it again. That's awesome. Alright, what else do I want to do? I'm going to go... I'm going to start putting things down. Let's see. What, what do I want to do? I need to get some of these villager things out of the way. Villagers will sometimes buy bugs off of you. And I also need to change the catchphrase. Hey, VX. Welcome. It is... It is Town Tickets program time. Yes, it is. And I'm officially starting a brand new town that I should hopefully play for a very long time. And it's going to be a very fun time. I love this town so far. Having a great time. Feng Shui. I do need a Feng Shui item. Come on. There's a couple of high-ticket items I would like to accomplish and get them off 
the list. Alright, which fruit do you like best? You like them both. <laughs> oh my goodness, I got a free pair. I already had a free pair. Thanks. Oh my goodness, I got I got a roof repaint, but I don't need that right now. Alright, well, we need to get we need a catchphrase change. Um, I, I do need feng shui items. Come on, Sydney. Oh, I got a pitfall. Wow. That is a rare task that will definitely pay off here in a little bit. Cool. That is a high ticket rare task. Success. There we go. No, I don't want to trade it. I want to sell it. If you were to purchase it off of me... Or if you want a new catchphrase, that would be great. Talk to someone else. Ugh. Alfonso. How's it going, buddy? Yes, you want a long locust? No, I don't want to trade it. I want to sell it to you. Oh my goodness, I made him sad. He wanted to eat the long locust. Rhoda. Hello, I'm looking... Yep. I do have a problem with the lunar calendar. I'm trying to think what the best way to sell an item to a villager is. Which of the events is your favorite? Uh, Halloween. It's coming up. There you go. Oh, a red clock. Which I don't think is actually red. But we can go look. So if we go here, and we go search for red... Oops. A red clock is not actually red. That is so sad. Every other thing that starts with red, that's furniture, is... Oh, not the red vase. <laughs> Let's go sell it to Nook, though, at least. Let's just get that out of the way. We need to, we need to get some more tasks here. I'm starting to stagnate a little bit. <clears throat> oh, Nook. Ah, perfect. I do want to get a fishing rod. Alright, let's go shop. Fishing rod. Fine fishing rod. I would love it. Thank you. Excellent. <clears throat> fishing rod is ready to pick up. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Excellent. I have received my fishing rod. Thank you, Nook. And I've redeemed town tickets. And I now have a fishing rod. Very good. Ah, see a villager whistle. I can do this one. Red dragonflies. I need five bugs. There are five of them here. One. <laughs> Oh, that one went away. Where are the others? There's one. Two. Three. Red dragonflies are just so perfect for this task. This is amazing. Four. Is there another one? No. Oof, that's fine. Um, I do want to see a villager whistle, though. So, you two. Over here. Talk to each other. And and whistle. Tank. Tank. No. Okay. There we go. Okay, that made him sad. Still sad. Mad. <laughs> Come on. Oh, that'll make him whistle. Let's go! We are talking to a villager whistling right now. Alright, so now my inventory is full, which means I might be able to sell one of these red dragonflies to him. Yes! Yes, you may take a red dragonfly for 780 bells. That's an item. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's go. Good stuff. I need to catch another bug, though. I saw one over here. Oh, look. More, vi more whistling villagers. But I don't need it at the moment now. Oh my goodness. Come on, Brian, what's all that golden net practice for? Alright, five bugs. Good. Let's go sell them. Now we're cruising. Now we're getting somewhere. This bug quest, though, is catch a bagworm. That's brutal. Didn't I have a migratory locust? Hmm. What? <clears throat> no, I destroyed my flowers. Well, that's fine. Alright. Hour. One. Complete. Oh, 
All right, there we go. Two wallpapers to Nook. All right. Yo, Cursed Dove, thank you for the kind words. I am glad you're enjoying the streams. That is the mission, is to be cozy. That's, that's what I'm aiming for. So I'm glad that I'm able to pull that off. Hope you enjoy the Animal Crossing. Let's catch some fish. Try to catch some fish. First fish. Harp. Ooh, a large bass. Nice. That's some good money. Well, I'll probably donate it. Alright. Bagworm is so ridiculously hard to find right now. It's at 2% and there's crickets everywhere. Oh my goodness. Balloon in a tree. Two wallpapers, a bagworm, and a change of villagers catchphrase. Oh, these are... This is gonna be tough. Let me see if I can... Let me see if I can figure out a strat here for the bagworm. What can I do about this? This problem. This acre. This acre is perfect. There are oranges in this tree, though, but that should be fine. I should be able to force a bagworm to spawn. Unfortunately, though, we can still get locusts like that and red dragonflies. But I should be able to force a bagworm with enough time, and it's worth 400 tickets. So it's definitely worth it. So we can get locusts, red dragonflies, and the bagworm in this acre. Because there's no there are no bushes in this acre. So I should be able to get a bagworm. Maybe. And I can look for a present in a balloon at the same time. Dang, this is tough. I think... Hmm. Maybe I should start working on a perfect town while I'm looking for a balloon. Because perfect towns will increase your balloon spawn odds. So it's probably a good idea to start looking or it's probably a good idea to start working on a perfect town so I can improve the odds of balloon spawning 
Hey, thanks, Inferno. I appreciate that. Yeah, isn't it a cool concept? That's why I worked so hard on it, because I knew it would be a lot of fun. Alright, let's donate some of these bugs and fish. Yeah, it gives you a little bit of direction. But not too much direction. Just a little bit. It gives you some, some things to focus on. Some things to try to accomplish instead of just, you know, mindless or like aimlessly playing and creating your own random goals. Now you actually have things to strive for. It was one of my favorite aspects of New Horizons, and it definitely deserved to be in this game. Yeah, I got some tough tasks. I'll see which ones I can knock out. But yeah, I think now is a good time to start working on a perfect town. Oh, wait. Somehow I lost my migratory locust. I don't know how that happened. It's fine, though. Oh, there's one. Alright, let's just... Let's just catch this thing. Not think about it anymore. Nice. So for selling two wallpapers, I think the plan for that is to actually just straight up order two more wallpapers from the catalog in the game and then sell them back to Nook. I think that's the game plan there. So I think this is, it's going to help a lot if I get some money. But for now, let's try to get a balloon present while working on a perfect town layout. I think that's the, I think that's the play at the moment. Oh, and at some point tonight, I need to tell you guys about my adventure I had in D.C. two days ago. Uh, it's quite the story. But not yet. I need to uh, figure out my plan of attack. So, might as well get a wallpaper. What do we have here? Ooh. You know what? I need to, at some point, there's a goal to spend money at Nooks. So, let's say, wait to buy the rest of Nook's stuff until that, until then. Alright, time for a perfect town. I'm gonna do it without referencing anything. I'm just gonna, just gonna go for it. Perfect town time. Here we go. Drop some of this stuff off. Did 
this acre already has nine trees. Very good. Three. I'm pretty sure this acre has 11. So I'm going to plant one tree here. trees here. There's the ball. Oh, we have another pond here. Good. The oranges are so easy to spot. This is great. So this, I think, has six trees. One, two, three, four, five... Yep. All right. Oh, we got another pond. We have oh, we have plenty of ponds. Staker might have too many trees. But I can get an axe whenever, so it's all good. Good here. I think this acre needs one tree. Yeah, this is a good town layout. I'm a fan. It's a lot of fun as well. All right. Moving along. This acre I think is good. That acre's good. How many trees are in this acre? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, I need an axe for sure. I need to chop down two trees here. Yeah, okay. We actually have a ton of spare fruit in this town. Nice. Ton of spare fruit. So, but I do need an axe. That is confirmed. Pretty sure this acre has, like, no trees. Yeah. Good here.
good there. All right. No balloon yet. Ooh, we got a whistling tank for now. No longer whistling. <laughs> Another free pair. Thank you, Hank. I do appreciate it. Yes! Change of villagers catchphrase. Let's go! Alright. Uh, what do we want to change this to? How about... Rungo. I don't know what that is. Let's see. How about... Oh, I know. I like Thwomp. He's a tank. Here we go. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Alright. Excellent. Let's go interact with some furniture inside. Alright, we got rid of one of those difficult tasks. We've knocked it out of the way. Here's Tank's house. This is cool. One, two, and, oh, the Tycho Drum. Here we go. Fun. Nook. Uh, sell some wallpapers and shirts to Nook, huh? All right. Well, what do I want to do here? I need a feng shui item. I need money. And I guess what I can do is I can buy this shirt. I'll just sell these two shirts. Start off with that. Alright, sell 5,000 bells to Nook. I was waiting for this one. So I'm gonna... I do need money anyways. So I'm gonna go catch some fish. And make some money. Or maybe some crickets. Hmm. Yeah, crickets sell... Some of the crickets are... Are valuable. Oh, all these red dragonflies. These add up. And they're quick. Ish. And once you've caught all the red dragonflies, a new new bugs will spawn in the acre. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Ah. I could also look for bees around town. Those add up. Let's see how much I made off these. Or one more bug. See how much I make. See how much this adds up to. I do need money. Anyways. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, that's it. Well. Hmm. I'm gonna go look for bees. It's time to find bees. Nice. That was great. Perfect. That's how you make money in October evening. Here we go. All right, redeem some town tickets. Oops. Perfect. I need the axe. I will take an axe. Here we go. Perfect. Got it. All right. All right. So now I can say I have the axe. Success. You know what? I have an idea. I can sell the wallpaper in my house. So actually, I'd actually rather not have that. I actually prefer the look of a blank wall over that. Go. Done. Give an item to your islander. Oh, goodness. Anka wants an ivory piano, which I cannot get at the moment. I'll see if she'll want something else when I go back to the island. Hmm. 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 Hmm.
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Well, this should hopefully give me a piece of furniture as a reward for all my trouble. And that could be, if it's a feng shui item, that would be really nice. At some point, if I don't get that, I'll my next item redemption from Nook will probably be, like when I redeem tickets, it'll probably be a feng shui item. Sydney at there you are. There you go. Yes, furniture. What do we got? We got a hammock. Oh, it's a bed. <laughs> Alright, five bugs. One. <laughs> Two. These red dragonflies are fantastic for this task. But the red dra red dragonflies will go away at 7. So I don't get it I won't be able to do this much longer. Crickets are fine too, I guess. Now, five fish. All right. Well, let's go do that. Pill bug. Sure. Oh, wow. Might as well. I think I'm gonna go make a perfect town. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and knock that out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count the trees. There were 17 here. That one's actually in the way. One. This one's also in the way. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One more, I think. Do it. Alright, 
I'll deal with the stumps later. Look at all these high item, high ticket tasks. Dang. That is a lot. Correct. You can exchange tickets for any item, but certain items are not uh, available until you've unlocked them, or they may be seasonal. So there is logic to which items you can actually acquire. Alright, let's see. How close to a perfect town did I get? Hey, one. Oh, I didn't plant enough trees in the dump acre, apparently. Alright, how about now? What, A2? I didn't plant enough in the Nook Acre? <laughs> Back up we go. Oh, right. Yeah, it makes sense. Wait. Yeah, whatever. One more in the Nook's Acre. Sure. How many trees did I plant here? I thought I planted three. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I planted one right there. Alright, so we'll plant one more. Sure, right there. Yeah, if, if anyone's looking for a reason to play Animal Crossing GameCube again, town tickets will definitely motivate, provide that motivation you're looking for. Yo, everything's perfect! I did it! I actually just needed to plant two more trees. Cool. Let's go! Alright, I'm ready for that balloon now. Can I get a bagworm? Nope, I got a long head locust. I'm having a great time with this, and this is day one. Normally, day one Animal Crossing is kind of monotonous and boring. Or, like, not there's not a whole lot to do. You end up just in, like, doing tasks for villagers. But there's so much to do now on day one. It's amazing how much there is to do now. I'm having a great time. So I think this bagworm is going to be a lot easier to catch after 7 p.m. I think. I think it's actually guaranteed after 7 p.m. Because we won't be getting locusts. So I'm actually going to hold off on the bagworm goal until then. So now I got a perfect town. Catch some fish.
If I can find a red snapper, that's a feng shui item. Oops, it's a red feng shui item. Which makes sense, red snapper. Though you'd think a red clock would be red. But it's not. Interesting. Ooh, a barred knife job. That's 5,000 bells right there. I'm going to save that for the 5,000 bell task. Yeah, early game, day one Animal Crossing is is very slow. Because you don't get the net. You don't have the rod. There's just not a whole lot of interesting things to do on day one. Now, I know how to make it interesting. But for the... But even then, it's not... Like, even then, it gets monotonous. This is very interesting and entertaining. In my opinion. Alright, that's five fish. Oh my... Sell an item to a villager. Look at all these challenging tasks. Fine. I will try to do that. You... What do we have? Oh, okay. yeah. <sighs> I'm actually getting a crazy amount of challenging tasks. Most tasks are fairly easy to do. But I'm getting a bunch of hard ones. A retro stereo for a hammock? Hmm. I mean, the retro stereo is kind of good. Alright. Fine. Sure. And I can order another one. A hammock if I want to. Nice to find a balloon. It would be nice to get a bagworm. I think I'm going to go for the bagworm because it's almost seven. And at seven, all these. Okay, here we go. This should be a guaranteed bagworm, but on average, it'll take like 50 acre flips. I also hope the fact that it's an orange tree doesn't uh, mess this up. Anyway, 7 p.m. Hooray. And all the while, we can look for balloons. So a bagworm is a 2% chance right now. But... This acre doesn't have any bushes, so there is no way for crickets to spawn. And now that it's 7 p.m., there are no more locusts or dragonflies flying about. So eventually, assuming the fact this is an orange tree doesn't mess this up, eventually, 
this will be a guaranteed bag one. But I don't know if the fact it's an orange tree is gonna will mess this up or not. So we're gonna find out. That'll be 400 tickets and a free slot. If I don't get this in like five minutes, I may actually try to. I may just discard this task. Because I don't think I'm going to be finding a bagworm without explicitly trying to find one. Yeah, New Horizons early game is also kind of slow, but there's still at least a ton to do, I feel like. Like, you can catch a bunch of fish, catch a bunch of bugs. You can, you can still catch bugs and fish on day one for New Horizons, which you can't even do in this game. I don't know if this is going to work. What a bummer. Why did this tree have to be the orange tree out of all the trees in this acre? Why did it have to be this one? I'm gonna see if there's another viable acre. That tree won't work. That tree won't work. Nope. None of the trees in that acre will work. That one has a rock, and none of the trees work. That one has a bush. Bush. And a rock. Two bushes. Oh my goodness, I found a bagworm. I was like, there aren't any crickets. Wow, that was super lucky. Let's go! I got a bagworm! Yes! Alright! Now we can... Now we can move. I don't need all these sea bass. Yes! Let's go! What a huge find. Any balloons as well? I, have been, I do have a perfect town, and I have been standing outside for quite a while. Any balloons... Hmm. Nope. Alright, change the town tune. Done. Order an item from the catalog. Alright. Very good. I'm gonna get a feng shui item, I think. No. Yeah. Well, no, it's from the catalog. Right. Hmm. Well, I'll just get a shovel. Because I do want a second shovel eventually anyways. Alright, sell some seashells.
That bagworm find was amazing. That's true, the no hourly music in New Horizons is kind of a bummer. Very true. I know, isn't the flame shirt just perfect? I agree. Five seashells. Catch a sea bass? I can do that. Watch, I'm gonna catch a red snapper. Which I would not be opposed to catching. Actually, any fish, any ocean fish will be fine. Yes, I got a red snapper. That's a feng shui item. That's a red feng shui item. Good. Let's knock that task out. Oops. Really embracing the casual gameplay. Very much embracing the casual gameplay here. Alright. Can we catch a sea bass, please? That's a sea bass vision right there. Very good. Perfect. There are three oranges over here, ready to consume. Mmm, yum. Alright, very good. go. We got ourselves a red feng shui item. Oh, you want a fish? Yeah, I can do that. Yes, the town tickets program does say what feng shui items, like what the feng shui of the item is in the shop. However, it doesn't, there's no way to collect uh, fish, so it doesn't say what the fish are. But I, I do know those. There we go, redeem town tickets. Good. I, what do I want? I want to start collecting some nook furniture. Go, let's go shopping. So, what sounds what sounds fun here? Here, let's sort by price. What's the cheapest feng shui item I can get? Ah, the detour arrow. But you know what? 
Let's get one of these chairs. How about... How about the Jade Econo chair? I like it. Jade Econo chair. Sounds good. There we go. We've redeemed some tickets. And in fact, I would like it. You know what? Let's do fast codes. Show fast code if available. There we go. We got ourselves a fast code for this. Oh, I can't... I can't collect it yet. Because... Um, I can order, only order three per save and quit session. So let's go ahead and get some shirts from the catalog so we can sell them to Nook. Oh, you know what? I can go to the police station. Let me go do that. Yo, M. Neon, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yes, I've played this game for a very long time. And I do know a thing or two about this game. <laughs> I do know quite a bit. And in fact, developing this town tickets program, I've learned a lot more as well. So that's pretty cool. Well, I don't know about a lot more, but I've learned more. I've learned a little more. It adds up. But thank you. I knew enough to develop this program. What do we got here? Could have checked this earlier. Ooh, a cabin couch. That's cool. I don't think that's feng shui, though. Jungle camo, yep. Definitely mine. Alright, let's go back to our tasks. Racer shirt. Definitely also mine. And, can I find room for five seashells? Not at the moment. Well, I could. Sure. Yeah, I could. Let me go do that. Donate the pill bug and red snapper. And then sell some seashells to Nook. That's a good way to phrase it. This era of Nintendo 64 games does have hidden depth of gameplay for the hardcore fans. It really does. And that is a common theme. It's a very good way to describe that. Animal Crossing, for sure. Like, it's so easy, easy to play this game casually, but it's also... There's, there's so much depth to this game. This one, this game in particular, has a ton of depth compared to others. And I am a fan of this game. <laughs> Alright, let's get some seashells. <clears throat> Like, I, even I'm learning new stuff about this game from time to time, after thousands of hours of gameplay. And, like, making a note to learn all this stuff. It's so fun. I love it. Ah, you, you personally enjoy Gen 4 Pokemon intricacies. That's cool. I love Gen 1 and Gen 2 Pokemon intricacies. Those are my favorite. But yes, I, I understand the appeal for every Pokemon game, because there are intricacies to every Pokemon game. Nice. <clears throat> okay. Nook. There we go. Two shirts and five seashells. Plant a tree. 
That's a good idea. I should have some redundant acres to increase my odds of a good town raiding. That is a good point. Let me do that. Alright, pear tree. Plant that right... There. Put it here. One pear tree. Ooh, see a villager with slushies. You did the 1% lucky egg on the Chansey and Jin too? Oh my goodness, you are in a... You are one of the very few people to have pulled that off. Well done. I'm also in the lucky egg Jin 2 club. It took me forever. But it was worth it. It was a ton of fun. <clears throat> and then I had fun using it. Very nice. Well done. Alright, come on. Come on, Sydney. Oh, Tank's whistling. We saw him whistle. There we go. Done. Build request. Well, Tank doesn't have one because I caught him a fish. Sydney, what do you got for me? Nope. Come on, Alfonso. Ah, oh, there we go. Right, the lucky egg is not really supposed to be intended to be useful um, for uh, for the actual gameplay while you're playing. It is, uh, it, I would say it is a post-game item. Unless you're insanely lucky <laughs> and happen to get it. Which would be, which would be crazy. I'm sure someone somewhere has gotten a lucky egg while playing Gen 2 Pokemon casually. I'm sure it has happened. I would say probably like like you like you just catch a can a chancy for example that you find and it happens to have a lucky egg. That would probably be the highest odds. Anyways, that's cool. Gen two is a blast. Gen one is a blast. <laughs> I'm I'm actually a fan of Basically all the Pokemon games. So I haven't played Gen 5 or up. So I don't really know much about those. Alright. Tank. You're supposed to have the item this whole time? Oh my goodness. Whatever. I actually... I was a huge fan of Heart Gold Soul Silver. Fire red, leaf green is cool, but I like part gold a lot more. I don't know why, but I had a ton of fun with part gold. Five bugs. All right. Well, let's go change some furniture inside. Oh, let me check my. Goals I want to do tonight. 10k tickets, all the tools. I did that. I've got a perfect town. <clears throat> 25 nook furniture. Uh, it could be done. Just need to <clears throat> keep going strong on the tasks. Gen 1 has a charm to it, yeah. It's glitchy, but it is it has charm to it. I like to play Gen 1 with like my own challenge. It's it's boring to just play it normally. Alright, so we got a retro stereo, sawhorse, and captain couch. You know what? How about the retro stereo?
Actually, I like the cabin couch, too. Nice. Alright, done. Change a feng shui item inside. Alright, I need to get the Jade Econo chair. So it's actually... I should probably do this anyways. It's time to save. Where, by saving and quitting, I am able to type in more note codes. So I can get that Jade Econo chair. And I should definitely save anyways. Let's do that. Good. Imneon, I don't allow links in chat because of spammers, but you can definitely link it, or you can definitely put it in the Discord. I would say put it in the Pokemon channel Discord. Alright, I've been carrying around this umbrella. I haven't even had to use it yet. Alright, let's get that Jade Econo chair. Got it. Very good. Excellent. Are you kidding me? Catch a Bagworm again? <laughs> you know what? I'm actually going to spend 50 tickets to get rid of this task. Discard this task for 50 tickets? Yes. Alright. I do not want to waste more time on that task. On another Bagworm. Let's see. I have a tree I can plant over here. Yeah. Right, let's see. I should plant two trees. I should plant another tree in the house acre. How about... How about here? There we go. Change your gyroid greeting. Yes, I do need to do that. Oh, that's all I get.
All right, there we go. Gyro greeting updated. All right, so we have two island tasks now. Let's go ahead and focus on those. I'm gonna save my bard knife jaw. And I'm gonna go uh, donate the bagworm. And then it's off to the island. I got a question, chat. When it says sell an item to a villager, if I sold something to Anka, would that count? He's an islander. Hmm. I actually can I sell? Yeah, I think I think they pay money for it. We'll see. We'll see if that even becomes something relevant. Alright, to the island. On the boat ride over, I am going to go to the bathroom. You're back. Good Jake. All right, I'm back. Yeah, not only did I choose... Well, I didn't choose the flame shirt. The flame shirt chose me. It was my starting shirt. Isn't that cool? Hello, Anka. What do I have here? The you are here. Yes. She don't want to give that to her. You know what? 
It would be funny. Ah, I've made Anka whistle. How fun. This is great. Yeah, you can have the You're Here shirt, Anga. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> have I ever seen a retro stereo? I actually already have one. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Okay, that's incredible. That's, uh, let me see if I can... That's so funny, first of all, right, this dialogue. When Cap'n gets on the, gets a girl on his boat, he says some pretty gosh darn weird things. <laughs> that's very meta. He does. He does say some really weird things as the girl dresser. Alright, a regal dresser. That's amazing. I already have an item she wants. Come on. I want to write a note to you. Yeah, apparently. Yeah, that's some incredibly powerful sun. I'm getting a sunburn just hanging out on this island at nighttime. It's in, it's incorrect. It's it makes sense though because it's like uh, you know, the sunlight just sort of hangs out on the island and it'll sunburn you even at night. I'm pretty sure it does not. To be fair. <laughs> All right, come on, Anka. I know what I know. I would like to write a note. You. I'm glad you are enjoying the You Are Here shirt. That was some wholesome dialogue. Hmm, alright, you know what? I'm gonna just come back with that retro stereo. And try to get... Try to get, um the note later. Ah, uh, now's a good time for a snack. I'm starting to get hungry. Lots of island trips now. No, it's a Nature Valley bar. I don't know what a Bueno bar is. 
unless you're just describing it. It is, it is good. It is bueno, yes. All right, Anka wants a retro stereo. Jade went to get her food. Chocolate bars sound so good right now. I'm a huge chocolate fan. About five years ago, I had a chocolate chip cookie. And then I had another one. And then the next day, I had another one. And then I had one every single day for like a month. And I said, I'm pretty sure this is like a phase. I think I'll, I'll, I just need to get over my chocolate kick. And then I'll be back to the way I was before, which was just, I don't know. I didn't need to, I didn't feel the need to eat sugar every day. I've basically had a chocolate chip cookie every single day for the last five years. Every now and then I mix it up though. I've been going with uh, like brownies now. So, I don't think it's a phase anymore. I think it's a lifestyle. <laughs> I have some sort of chocolate every single day of my life. Oh, thank you, Kyler. I appreciate that. I do... I have had crunch bars. They are good. Here you go, Anka. You want a retro stereo, huh? This is both giving an item to my Islander and selling... Wait, hold on. Alright, let's... Let's decide together, chap. This is for sure giving an item to my islander. Does this also count as selling an item to a villager? Does Anka count as a villager? What do you guys think? Let me know in chat. We need to, we need to get some answers here pretty quickly, though. Yes and no. That's... That's... It's either yes or no. Is Anka... I'm aware she's separated to a different area of the save file. That is why I am asking. But she's grouped with the regular NPCs. I know. I know that as well. <laughs> hmm. Alright, so let's for sure claim... Give an item to her islander. Here you go, Anka. And here is money. Does it count as selling an item to a villager? I'm gonna go... Okay, so we're trying to justify this. Can you write her a letter? 
This is write a note to your Islander. So you can't send her a letter in the mail. That's true. You cannot do that. <clears throat> she even talks about the mail service. Heat doesn't fly over here. So, does that exclude her from the village? She also doesn't... She also have her, has her own unique dialogue set. Islander-specific dialogue. She's not in the village. She's in the island. I'm gonna say it doesn't count. I think we've justified it to the point... Or we've talked about it enough... Where I don't think it counts. Okay, so you want me to say, give you a new catchphrase? Sure. Um... What should Anka say? Something pretentious. Hmm. We'll start with this. Nah, that's not pretentious enough. Oh, I, I got it. I got it. Just might do the trick. <laughs> Very good. Man, Anka's tastes are... He really wants some expensive stuff. Yeah, see? She's complaining about the mail service. So no, I cannot. Come on. No, it's fine. Alright, Imneon. Have a good night. Catch you later. Anka, please. I'm gonna be stuck with this task forever if you don't let me write give write a note to you. What do I need to do? I'm gonna go inside. Maybe that'll help. You should also have a retro stereo on display now. Oh, she has a master sword on display. Interesting. I think the ne oh the next day she puts the retro stereo out. This, this is doable, right? I don't know if she'll let you write a note when she's whistling. But I guess I'll go inside. Dang. Hmm. 
I'm skeptical if this is even possible. Like, I know it's possible, but maybe it has to be a certain time of the day. I'm, this is taking way longer than it should. Alright, what happens if I say so-so? She still whistles. <laughs> hey, Toma. I know, I can't believe I got Anka. How cool is that? Yo, Ham Ham, thank you for the congrats on my 100% speedrun world record. I appreciate that. I put a lot of time and energy into that run. But thank you. Tyler, do you know anything about Islanders asking to write a note to them? I thought this was a guaranteed dialogue, and it wasn't even that hard to get. But clearly, I'm having issues with it. And I'm wondering if there's something that activates it. Makes it possible. Do I have to, like, tr save the island to my Game Boy Advance first? Is there something that... Is it a certain time of the day? I feel like I'm always writing notes to the villagers. Or the islanders. When I talk to them. I think I'm going to do this for, like, one more minute, and then just, like, get rid of the task for 100 tickets. Oh, the bunny, the bunny with the hat. Um, I know who you're talking about. Oh, hair. Yeah, O'Hare is cool. I agree. I don't think this is happening. <laughs> to be real honest, I don't think that... I don't think it's happening. Discard this task for under tickets. It is what it is. Whoops. I liked Anka's dialogue. I thought it was fun. <laughs> I 
That was fun, talking to Anka for like 20 minutes. But it's time to move on. We got more tasks to complete. I'm not a huge fan of the lineup right now. I don't mind the ball in the water. But everything else... She probably still goes on about how Kappen's dialogue is weird. But yeah, she definitely will have different dialogue. Okay, so I got like two hours left. What else do I want to accomplish today? I definitely want to pay off my first debt. I want to save up enough money for Nook to upgrade tomorrow. So, I should probably catch some more fish. For money. Yep. Alright, let's do it. Oh, and the money rock. Let me look for that. Found it. <laughs> Easy every time. Well, that was, that was great. I should also find fossils and gyroids around. Let's do that. And keep an eye out for... Uh, fossils. And the ball. Dang, before I saved and quit, the ball was up here. But it moved. Anyways, you guys want to hear the crazy story of my weekend? It was quite the adventure, I must say. Um, so I had uh, my girlfriend's cousin getting married. They live in D.C. So we ended up uh, we ended up spending the weekend in D.C. in order to go to this wedding. But it was a whirlwind trip. Because I wanted to, all right. Because we didn't want to, we didn't want to stay a whole, we didn't want to spend a whole lot of time there because it was super expensive to stay in the hotels, like four hundred a night, absolutely ridiculous. So we wanted to spend as least amount of money as we could, and this was like a pretentious wedding, so it was supposed to be called black tie. You ever heard of that? Basically, it means you have to wear, like, really fancy attire. So you have to wear a suit, you know, all that stuff. So very, very fancy. And that was the mission. We were just going to go to D.C. real quick, be there for less than 48 hours, attend this wedding, and be completely exhausted by the end of it, of course. 
And then, uh, and then that's that. And then I'm back, and then I can work on my town tickets program and finish it up. So that was the plan. Um, but it was an early flight, so, you know, we left at 7 a.m. for the airport. And that's fine. I've, we've done that plenty of times. You know, it is what it is. Just get up early, set the alarm for 4 a.m. And, uh, and yeah, you know, we have two alarms so we don't miss the flight. So yeah, all, all is well. We we wake up on time. We we start heading to the airport. We're not late. We have plenty of time. It's not stressful. I prepare, you know, I get my breakfast. All the things pack. Everything's good. But we're tired. So, on the way to the airport, I was thinking of all the things I needed to bring with me. I needed, you know, I needed phone charger. I needed food. Uh, I needed, you know, bathroom stuff, etc. It's like, yep, check, check, check. And then I was like, yep, I need to make sure I bring the suit. I got my, I packed my suitcase full of uh, my fancy clothes. Including a suit, including, you know, dress pants, dress shoes, etc. The entire, my entire outfit. I was like, alright, let's make sure I got all that. And then I, I was like, yep, I packed all that stuff, we're good. And then I, so I moved on, and then I revisited that thought later, and at about 45 minutes to the airport, I realized... I, uh, I don't have my suitcase. I didn't bring my suitcase with me. Hold that thought, we have to run around this museum exhibit. Very fun. So there we go. So there we were, on our way to the airport. And I, uh, to a very fancy wedding in D.C. We don't have time to turn around at this point, and I forgot my entire outfit. My entire suit, tie, dress pants, etc. I don't have anything to wear except the clothes on my back. And we're supposed to go to the fanciest wedding I've ever been to. Uh, yeah. So, uh... Let me write a note. So that was extremely stressful, and I'll continue the story in a little bit. But basically, I had to find my way around DC to find to put together a outfit for the wedding in six hours <laughs> without a car, without a rental car. Town tickets. It was extremely stressful and a uh, nightmare situation, but made some made some fun adventures out of it. Had a good time. And I will I'll tell some more of the story in a little bit. Officially available. You know what we'll say is officially complete. As of Pretty good. Are you kidding me? I got this task again? There's other bugs that I can catch. There's several crickets. That is unfortunate. How's the food? It was alright. Actually, the best part of the trip, one of the one of the highlights of the trip was after a morning of stress trying to figure out what to do about putting together a fancy suit in the matter of six hours in DC. We stumbled upon a grilled cheese restaurant. It was just like a grilled cheese sit-down restaurant, and 
it was amazing. It was it was the greatest find in DC. It was close to I'm trying to I'm trying to think where it is. Close to Roslyn. If you if you're familiar with the area. It was absolutely perfect and exactly what we needed in that moment. It was delicious. So grilled cheese. <laughs> How do you make a fancy grilled cheese? The grilled cheese that I got had well, I'm vegetarian, so I, they, they had meat options, but they did have a, a plant-based chicken option, which I love. So I got plant-based chicken, avocado, and melted cheese, variety of melted cheese, and that is how we got a fancy grilled cheese. It was, it was perfect. Couldn't have asked for a better grilled cheese. All right, stupid bagworm. I guess I'm going to try to find one again. Nope, can't go wrong with grilled cheese. That's right. But the wedding food was, it was very fancy. However, I don't really care that much for fancy food. I just care for flavor. So it was all right. No, I didn't get grilled cheese on my shirt. If it, if I did, it didn't matter. Cause I didn't have a suit. <laughs> I didn't have anything to wear to this wedding. Except, so what was I supposed to do? An entire suit outfit in six hours. Well, I ended up... It ended up turning into a crazy adventure of traversing various stores in DC while walking around and taking the metro. I got a... I became a pro at taking that metro. Ultimately, though, um, I ended up landing on a find in Target. So, I ended up finding an entire fancy enough suit in Target. It was it was crazy. But yeah, I looked into Men's Warehouse, I looked into like other places, but they all require some sort of appointment or some sort of like sizing before you, you can't just walk in and be like, I would like this. They'd be like, all right, well, you're going to be fitted and come back in a week. For a fancy suit. So that was not an option. So many bugs and fish. There are other tasks besides catch bugs and fish. Fine, let's see. And besides, you know how expensive a full fancy suit is? You think I want to drop 500 bucks because I left my suitcase at home? No, I had to I had to figure some some more cost effective option out. I'm not a I'm not a big time YouTuber or streamer. I, I'm not rolling in the money like some of some other YouTubers. So I had to get creative with my purchasing options so I didn't break my bank. And it was also a pain. It was exhausting. I was so tired. After all was said and done. Yeah, a $400 hotel. $400 night dollar hotel. And yeah, it's a ton of money for something I would only wear once. Because I already have a full suit back at home. I already have a full getup for fancy occasions back at home. So I already... I don't need another one. But I ended up putting together an entire fancy wedding outfit. Fancy enough, it passed. Fancy enough wedding outfit in Target for 135 bucks. 
the dress pants I found, they were actually just sweatpants. But I pulled it off. I pulled it off to make it look like uh, dress pants. Target didn't have any dress pants. <laughs> for the record. And the only dress shirts they had, there was there were like eight options. And by eight, I mean there were two options. And it was four different sizes for each. <laughs> as far as suit jackets go, there were... I thought there were zero options, but I actually happened to find one singular suit option. And it was my size. It was perfect. But it took a lot of time to figure that out. And we were we were on four hours of sleep trying to figure out a, a new city for the first time. At least my first time. Well, I've been to DC, but not since I was a kid, so I didn't have to worry about uh, navigating it by myself. And of course I wanted to check out, you know, the White House as well as the, uh, as well as some monuments. We had, we had to squeeze that in. <laughs> Can't forget those. But all in all, pulled it off with 30 minutes to spare before the wedding started. And my girlfriend was extremely stressed out at some time, at, at, at times, but pulled it off. Had a great time, made some great stories. The, uh, the, the bride and groom were impressed I was able to pull something together, even though it wasn't the, you know, a fancy suit and tie, a, you know, outfit, but hey, it worked. And it's all good. It was it was fun. I stuck out, I stood out a little bit, but not too bad. Not too bad. You got pickpocketed in DC. Oh, that's sad. That sucks. At the Lincoln Memorial. Dang. Bummer. Sorry to hear that. So I guess you don't have the greatest experience in DC. Bummer. Well, yeah, some of DC is a little bit sketchy. We were walking to a Walmart that the first the first plan I thought of was go to Walmart and see what I can find. So we walked to a Walmart. Uh, there was a problem though. After 45 minutes of walking to the Walmart, turns out it closed down. Turns out the Walmart no longer existed. So, that sucked. Uh, Alright, let's see. I want to purchase something. I would like... You know what? Let's go to the miscellaneous categories. Let's sort by catalog order. So, look at this. You can also acquire Nook codes for random things such as foreign fruit and other various items as well. Isn't that fun? Let's get a... I want to get a flower bag, because I want to start accumulating some flowers. Yeah, this is a fancy catalog, isn't it? I've spent a lot of time on, on making this. Alright, fine red tulip flower bag. Total comes 80 tickets. Pretty cheap, pretty good. I'll take it. Alright, so we have claimed... We have redeemed some town tickets. Oh, talk to Sable and Mabel. Yes, I do need to start working on befriending Sable anyways. There, I've talked to Sable and Mabel at once. But I'll talk to Mabel just to, uh, just to complete that. Alright, two wallpapers to Nook. Dang. See a villager whistle. The stupid bagworm. Well, the reason why the flower bag picture is in an actual bag is because they're all the same. They all look the same. So I wanted it to be noticeable what flower you're going to get. That was a design choice, for the record.
Hmm. Probably a pill bug. Dang. I'm trying to find a good bagworm tree. I don't know why I've gotten the bagworm bug task three times in a row now. That is unfortunate. Alright, do you want to buy one of these things off of me? You definitely want a bug, don't you, Patty? Oh, okay, I'll take a free, free peach. Sounds good to me. You have 86 left. Very nice. And... If we can make Patty whistle. Sometimes there's some dialogue where they where she'll be like, you like my nail polish? Uh no, I don't want your club shirt. But and so if you compliment her nail polish, she'll start whistling. That would be a uh, a huge fun. If I could have anything right now, I actually want wallpaper. Ugh. He didn't give me free wallpaper. Come on. Eh, alright, fine. Hmm, moving along, I guess. I would like some more, like some more completed tasks. Oh my goodness. Those dialogues actually don't make any decisions. Ah! You won it. Uh, you just want to give me stationary. Sure. I should change the dialogue to say sell something to a villager. But this is fine. A strictly human festival. Sure, I'll take a ranch wardrobe. Was that one of the things Anka wanted? She wanted a... No, she didn't want that. Ah, oh, goodness gracious. Where's Alfonso? Alfonso... likes to buy things off of people. Oh my goodness. Look at his house. It's beautiful. Well, let's go hang out over here. I like what I see. <laughs> yes, I will sell that to you. Let's go. That was that was easy. Now start whistling. Oh my goodness. Wow, let's go. What a huge a double task complete from selling an item to him. 
That's amazing. And he's still whistling. What else can we get out of this guy? Amazing. Nice. Still whistling. Sure. What else? What else do you want to give me? Alright, he's still whistling. Once you get one of these personalities whistling, um, they whistle for a while. Once you get the uh, the lazy personality whistling, they go for a while. That's fine. We, we had enough fun, but I think we're good to continue on. What a great house. Top of the line. Top quality house. Well done, Alfonso. I'm getting to discard this bagworm task again. I think it's worth it. Mail a letter with a gift. All right. Will do. I just hope the next bug related task is not a bagworm, but just one of these crickets. Fingers crossed. Alright, perfect. I will give that to Alfonso as his gift in the mail. Beautiful.
Red Aloha shirt or blue Aloha shirt? That truly is a challenging decision. I agree. Alright, here we are. You'll love it. A bug on the island. Something other... Let's see, what bug can I catch on the island right now? Oh, a cockroach, I guess. We'll do an island trip in a little bit. Go say hi to Anka again. Nice! Get one complete. Paid off. Oh yeah, Alfonso's gonna love that letter. I assume I'll get a nice reward in the mail. October 11th. Crazy Red. Town tickets! Let's redeem some town tickets. Let's see. What do I want? I think I want to continue accumulating some Nook furniture. Because here we can see Crazy Red furniture is not available yet. So if we check everything, we can see down here, Crazy Red furniture will be available after 50 unique Nook furniture codes. And I only have one. So... I'm going to focus on getting more Nook furniture. But I don't want to spend a lot of money. Let's get a tea set. That looks nice. There. I've redeemed some tickets. <clears throat> Change the town tune. Alright. There, I've done it. Another message. Alright. I can do that. You can redeem three more codes after you save and quit. message. Plant a tree. A lot of trees that I am planting. Lots of trees being planted. I'll put one. You know what? I like right here. Bard knife jaw. All right, that's a fun task. Let's go do that. I like that task, and I can start working on catching five fish. Good stuff. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Well, I think this fish might be good. If I can catch it. That should be good. Alright, well, it was a red snapper. Not a barred knife jaw, but I'll take it. Okay. I guess I'm, I'm not sure, but we'll catch it. Try to. Yes, a bird knife jaw. Let's go. All right. We're rolling in the money now. Rolling in the bells. Let's go catch a few more fish. Dang it, that, I think that was a rare fish. Oh well. Whatever. Let's just... Catch this... Probably a bass. Yeah. We're playing casually. All good. There. Interact with two gyroids inside. I know just the gyroids. <laughs> Oh, Alfonso. That's sad. We there we go. Now they're now they're different. That's awesome. All right, let's go sell some seashells to Nook. Donate a barred knife jaw. Nice. That's a uh, some good amount of or some high value shells. Good stuff. Ah, yes, a new house, or new roof color. I am thinking sky blue. Let's go with sky blue. Hmm. 
Alright. Give a villager a new catchphrase. And sell an item to a villager. Dang. Got some tough tasks. Well, let's see what I can do. Oh, Alfonso. My friend. Let's go hang out by your gyroids over here. No, I don't want to buy your cabin rug. <laughs> oh my goodness, Alfonso's sad because of how hard he worked today. And that the sun is also tired. Are you better now? Good. Oh, he's whistling now. You bet that's not a task. Come on, Alfonso. What do you want? You want me to- you want to buy something from me, right? Nachos, bean burritos, nachos. Can't forget the nachos. Come on. Ugh. Yeah, this guy's house is amazing. It really is. Alfonso's got quite the house. Quite the top tier house, I must say. Well, that did not work out. What about you, Rhoda? You. Yeah, and the corner, the toilet in the corner is just like the chef's kiss. Just the cherry on top. Absolute perfect final addition to an already top tier house layout. <laughs> Nice. I feel like my tasks this time are so hard. Money! Alright, well, that counts. Let's go plant a tree. I sold- I traded a red snapper for money. I'm gonna consider that selling a red snapper. <laughs> that sounds like a, a transaction in my mind. That sounds like a financial transaction. Design a pattern? Finally. I was wondering when I'd get that one. Alright.
I'm actually going to do something fun. My plan for whenever I get, finally got this task, took long enough, is I actually want to use my e-reader. So, you'll see. Oops. Battery fell out of the Game Boy. I am going to... Oops, I did not design a pattern. I am going to select an e-reader card that has a pattern on it. And that will be my design. Which one do I want? I know which one I want. Hello. I would like to design a pattern. Wait, how does this... Other things. Download... Read card. Or prep e-reader. Try it again. I don't think I've ever gone through this dialogue with Mabel before. Alright. That's cool, Toma. Yeah, I was deciding between the Shine Sprite pattern and the hero's tunic and i think i've decided which one i want oh this takes a while i guess it takes just as long as in the post office anyways i'll show up to ebert card in the meantime here's what i'll be scanning the hero's tunic Ah, it worked. All done. Yes. Read a card. There it is. You'll lose that design, that's fine. That's cool. There we go! The hero's tunic. One successful designed pattern. Let's go. Very cool. And I kind of want to wear it. What a great pattern. That's awesome. I didn't I didn't notice the parted hair. <laughs> Is that the Wind Waker pattern? That looks like that looks like Wind Waker to me. But yes, yeah, very clever. Alright. Close the e-reader card binder. So moving along, uh, since I have two carpets and wallpapers to sell the Nook... Oh, I know what I can do. I can buy this carpet and then sell it right back. Thank <laughs> you. 
There we go. More village requests. Alright. Oh, tank. Oh, wait. You don't need a quest. Let's see about Sydney. I'll wear this outfit for a little while. I like it. Where's Alfonso? Alfonso's up here. Where am I going? Cabin series is fun. I like the cabin series for winter nights. Winter... Cold winter evenings. I love the cabin series. Ooh, I got furniture for that. Who we got? A kitty dresser. Cool. Alright, let's go check out another museum exhibit. How about the bugs? I've donated some bugs, so it'll be fun to check some of these out. Here we go. They're sleeping. Not moving much. Oh yeah, I haven't donated any crickets yet. Here we are. Fun. Ooh, another barred knife jaw. Alright. Sounds good to me. It So I've done a sea bass task and a barred knife jaw task, and now another barred knife jaw task. I will. Do you have an idea for a task, Toma? Yo, what's up, Cold? Yeah, isn't this awesome? I agree. I'm having a great time. So much to do on day one Animal Crossing. That's a sea bass. I don't even want it. I have a kick a ball in the water task. So that it does exist. Run through the bushes. That could be a task. Oh, there's the there's the ball, by the way. Speaking of kicking balls in the water. Yeah, isn't the unlocking stuff in the catalog the best? It, so it's not just all immediately available. It actually requires you to complete various tasks within the Town Tickets program itself to unlock stuff. I'm glad you appreciate that, Cold. Yeah, I put a lot of time into figuring out which items are unlocked through which methods. And I think it's turned out really well. And it makes sense, you know? It would be weird if you could just get post model on day one. That'd kind of be lame. But now, you actually have to play for a very long time to unlock the post model. So it, it makes sense. It's in the spirit of Animal Crossing. And it, it maintains the, uh, the idea of playing daily to complete various tasks and do various things. In, in conjunction while playing Animal Crossing. And I think it maintains the spirit of the game nicely. But yeah, I'm all for ideas and, uh, and additions. I'm all for it. I like to think of this as a, as a community um, sort of like program. I didn't just make this for myself, but for everyone to enjoy. To Enjoy a, a casual Animal Crossing gameplay experience. But yeah, I'm all for hearing if anyone has ideas for other tasks. 
Yeah, please do. Let me know if you think of anything. But yeah, I'm very happy to have finally completed this program and been able to release it publicly. Very happy. It'll be cool to see if anyone makes like a Let's Play series and submits it to YouTube. We'll see. We'll see if that happens. But even if that doesn't happen, just playing it and enjoying it is all I all I can hope for. Town tickets 100% speedrun. Indeed, I like it. <laughs> because I don't want to spoil too much, but there are some items that are unlocked even after the post model. And uh, so there are 1,395 items. And the amount of tickets it requires to purchase everything is quite a lot. <laughs> it is quite a lot of tickets. But it's not an impossible amount. It is, it is reasonable to do in, like, the amount of time it would take to complete most of playing Animal Crossing normally, anyways. Did I make the Link outfit? No, I actually didn't. I wanted to scan an e-reader card for a pattern. And so I scanned an e-reader card. Yeah, so when you unlock a code, you can then go to your catalog and it'll give you the code. For that item. There's our bar knife jaw. That's 400 tickets. Alright, sell two shirts, sell two wallpapers. I, in fact, I'm going to demonstrate that here shortly. I'm going to go sell all these red snappers. I might as well sell the Bard Knife Jaw. I've got a Bard Knife Jaw inside my house, ready to sell for 5,000 bells quickly at any point. Well, I'll keep it. I'll keep it in my house for that reason. But I'm going to order some shirts and wallpapers from the catalog. That way I can sell them right back to Nook. I am about to have money. More money. You should, Cold. You should play this tomorrow. I'm having a great time. You definitely should play it tomorrow. Alright, let's order some stone walls. And after I order these, I'm going to type in some Nook codes that I've acquired in my catalog, that I've purchased. And... Let's, let's just order a bunch of flame shirts, sounds good to me. Yeah, I plan on playing in this town for quite a while. I plan on casually playing Animal Crossing for a good amount of time. You should, yeah, Toma, let me know if that worked out. I know you run Linux. That'd be cool if that worked. I hope it does. 
Uh, all right. So I am. Oh wait, I wanted to go type in note codes so that way I can type in more after I save and quit and reload. So let's go check that out. So here's my catalog. I can. I have a red tulip flower bag. Ah, uh, no fast code. That's all right. We'll type this in. Yeah, I implemented fast codes. So that's an option if you want to use a fast code instead of your generated code. <laughs> I've already typed a one in. There we are. A red flower bag has arrived for you from town tickets. That's right, it sure has. Got it. Nice. Yeah, thank you, Nook. It has, in fact, arrived from town tickets. That is correct. Very good. Alright, so I'm saving and quitting and reloading so I can collect all those shirts and wallpapers that I purchased. So that way I can sell them right back to Nook. It's a very smart business model on Nook's end. Very clever. And we got our red tulip bag here. Yeah, isn't this a cool outfit? This is a custom designed outfit. Alright, so red tulips. I think Alfonso deserves some red tulips. Here you go, friend. Alright, I have a bunch of flame shirts now, so sell all these, and sell these. Awesome! Okay, new tasks. Eat something, fish. I really want to change a villager's catchphrase. I want to knock that one out. See if I can do that. I'd also really love a balloon, but I haven't seen one yet at all. Oh, I gotta... I know who to talk to to repaint my roof. Tank's repainted my roof twice now. Too bad that wasn't one of the tasks. Oh, pineapple bed. Yeah, I need a bed to sleep on tonight. Excellent. Alright, I need to go... I need to go change my house layout a little bit. I need to make sure I have a livable house tonight. 
So... Let's put the bed over here. Perfect. <laughs> Two thousand a month in Southern Cali. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sounds about right. Put a couch there. What else do we have? Ooh, we have a fan palm. That's nice. Should we put it here? Let's we'll see if that looks nice. That is. Look how cozy that is. We even have we even have the leaves clipping into the wall, Bethesda style. Perfect. Oh, you're right. I should get a froggy chair. That couch look right there? I guess it's fine. It's fine. Here. It can be a... The bottled ship can be a... Uh, a footrest. There. Great. Nice and cozy. You know what? I like the bottled ship here. I changed my mind. Besides, my house is upgrading tomorrow anyways. Let's go ahead and put our bard knife jaws down. These will be items to sell later. And... Sure, we'll, we'll have a tape deck still. Why not? Alright, good enough. Nice and cozy. Gotta love it. Let's continue on. That was the highest note it could have been for the 9 a.m. alarm. There's the ball. Let's go eat a coconut. Mmm, yep. Nice and soft. Alright. <laughs> Five seashells. Any balloons? I've been looking for a balloon for quite some time now. And I can't seem to find any balloons. Rem chat, remind me to keep a fossil in my inventory before I save tonight. I... I would love to um, be able to donate all these fossils to the museum tomorrow. Any balloons? Any balloons by chance? I've been sitting on this balloon task like the whole night. I would love to find a balloon. I have a perfect town. The odds of balloons spawning are very good. Where are the balloons? Hey, thanks for the reminder to keep the fossil in my inventory. Appreciate that. Alright, well, whatever. There are two more fossils I can find around town. Though three is the minimum. So that I can donate those all tomorrow. Alright, well, let's sell five seashells to Nook. Change my gyroid greeting. Alright.
I'm almost at 10,000 tickets. That was one of my goals today. I'm going to slightly improve the grammar every time I work on this. There we are. That's not a fish. That's my first crash. <laughs> Gyroid is learning English. Indeed. Perfect. Ah, time to redeem some town tickets. You know what? Let's get to 10k tickets first, and then I'll redeem some town tickets. One of my other tasks, or one of my other items I want to uh, be able to complete today is getting 25 Nook Furniture items. Get halfway to getting a Crazy Red item. It would be pretty cool to unlock Crazy Red items on day one, but that I don't think that's going to happen in the next hour. It, well, it might. It depends on what I buy. If I buy all the cheapest Nook furniture, I think you could get up to 50 Nook furniture and like 16,000 bells. And then if I want to buy something from Crazy Red... I would need another, you know, X amount of bells. I don't know. If, I don't know if I have time. I don't know. If, yeah, I don't think I have time tonight to get up to that amount. If I stayed up later. There we go. 10,080 bells. Oh, hey. Look at that. Fall in a pitfall. I got this earlier. How perfect. Alright, let's fall in a pitfall. Very nice. You know what? I'm gonna fall in front of a pitfall in Nook. Right outside Nooks. That's a quick 4 eight, 450 bells, or 450 tickets I was hoping to get. There we are. I fell in a pitfall. Nice. Ooh. More money. This is great. I don't think those fish quite add up to add up to 5k. But it's close. What do we have here? Sawhorse? Let me catch a few crickets. Eh, whatever. I got I I'll just sell a bard knife, y'all. That's fine. I need to make room anyways. Yeah, it does require net runtime, that's correct. Alright. Change your furniture item inside. Let me go ahead and redeem some town tickets. So, I'm going to start working on all this fun stuff. Let's go ahead and order... Anything here look fun? That's cheap. <laughs> hmm. How about 
How about a... How about a slot machine? Actually, you know what? How about a daffodil? There. Town tickets redeemed. Kick a ball... Where... where I forget. Where was that ball at? Where did we... Where was that ball at? You guys, does anyone remember? Chat, do you remember where that ball was? I forgot. I think it's on the right side somewhere. It wasn't the it was at one point the lighthouse, but it's no longer the lighthouse. I know, I remember the soccer ball at the lighthouse, but I saved and quit since then, I think. There was another one. I think it was by the police station, maybe? Yeah, there it is. It, it was police station. Alright, cool. Oh yeah, there's a random peach here. I need to... Do something about that. Alright. Uh, villager quest. Patty. Hello, good evening. Oh, you want me to send you a letter? You got it. Yes, I will do a loop around. Need some seashells. Oh, how convenient. <laughs> there we are. You know what? Here is a Wintel trap. Enjoy. Oh, wait, do I want to do that? No, I actually need that. Should I give her a flame shirt? No, I like the shirt she's wearing. Um, I I don't need to give her a gift, but I kind of want to. I can give her money. There you go. And that will be a villager quest. Yeah, I think that's a good gift, 100 bells. Go buy yourself something nice. Yeah, go buy yourself a flower bag, almost. <laughs> go buy yourself a sapling. <laughs> Anyways, that should be a happy cow. I think that's a completed quest right there. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna go get the letter, but... I'll... Okay, I'll complete the quest upon receiving the letter in the mail. Because it never makes the little jingle for that quest. Ooh, I got festive paper. Oh, she liked the present I sent her. She liked the hundred bells. What did she get me in return? Oh my goodness, she got me a master sword? That's so, that's so nice. Ooh, chop a tree down. That's awesome. I'm gonna put, I'll put it back in my house afterwards. What a great gift. Alright, so I have to chop a tree down. I don't want to disturb my perfect town rating. Let me think. Let me think. Hmm. Which tree should I chop down? Oh, I know. I can chop a tree down in this acre. Because I it has 14 trees in it. Oh, there's the ball. I'm glad I did that. 
Is there any tree that's kind of annoying in this acre? I guess this one, actually. Here we are. Plant a coconut. All right, let me sell these seashells. I brought some coconuts from the island for this exact purpose. I know, you're right. What the perfect gift to receive in the Link outfit. Like, yeah, you're absolutely right it is. That's so great. Alright, I sold five seashells. Change the menu background. Alright, I was been holding on to this flame shirt for that exact purpose. <laughs> nice. Uh, I actually like the red tie-dye. I'm going to change it back. Alright, let's go plant the coconut. Oh, but I try to get... What bugs can I even get on the island right now? I guess a cockroach? I need to plant a tree on the island. Oh my goodness. Alright, the next time I need to... I need to redeem some town tickets for... A sapling. Yeah, I do. I need to do that. Yeah, you can change the menu background like that. Isn't that cool? It's a pretty fun feature. You know what? I do want a palm tree right... No, right here. There we are. Catch a carp. Alright, let's do it. Sounds doable. Seems doable, especially with catching five fish. Good Matsy. Hello, Mr. Matsy. There's not a lot of room on this desk at the moment for cats. Catch an arowana is a task. There's a task for every fish. If the fish is in season, of course. Toma, it won't launch on Linux because of a missing font. I have the font... Oh, is it... Which font is it? I have the Think Heavy font embedded in the program. But other fonts like Consolas are not embedded. Because those should be... Everyone should have those on their Windows by default. But I have Think Heavy embedded. So you don't need to have that installed on your machine. But if you need, I think Sego UI and Consolas are, are ones you need. Alright, sounds good, Toma. But that's just a Linux issue. That's not an issue for people on Windows. Unless for some reason you deleted your default fonts in Windows. Please don't do that. Also, that was five fish. But no carp yet. Come on, carp. Yes, carp. Let's go. Also, another village request. Patty, where'd you go? Are you still in this acre? Yeah, there you are. Need anything? Right in the diary. Dang it. Right. 
Hey, thanks, Kyler. I appreciate that. All right, very good. Are you kidding me? Catch a bagworm again? Huh, that's so weird. Because there's crickets about. I've gotten four catch a bagworm. I don't think it's bugged because the fish one works fine. I think it's just crazy RNG. Yeah, bagworm during cricket sucked. I I actually did catch a bagworm earlier once. But Yeah. Unfortunately, the only strat that I can use is the able sister where there's no bushes in the acre, but the problem is that tree happened to be a fruit tree. So, I don't think it can spawn bagworms, but I could be wrong. I've already tried it. Quite a while. Yeah, I don't think it can. So, that was the only bummer about this town. Otherwise, it's an amazing town. All the other acres either have rocks or bushes, as far as I can tell. <clears throat> sometimes fruit trees spawn bugs, sometimes it doesn't. And I haven't found rhyme or reason to it yet. It is, it is one of the mysteries that I still have. I have gotten fruit trees to spawn bugs. But I don't remember how. Alright, I'm going to discard this task. It's going to cost me 200 tickets, but it's just going to clog up my task. And I'm hoping to get different bugs later. We can solve this mystery, you say. Okay. Okay. Do it. Let's solve the mystery. Where is a villager? Alright. Nothing. Come on, I just spent 200 tickets to get rid of a task. I need to... I need to uh, at least recoup those lost tickets. Tom, where are you? Are you still here? Somewhere? Yes. Oh, you also want a letter. Alright, I can do that. Thank you. 
Alright, he's gonna love it. Any balloons? Are we gonna get a balloon at all tonight? I think soon I'm going to stop completing a bunch of tasks because I want to type in codes for flowers. Because I want to put a flower in every acre and I want to plant a tree on the island. A regular tree. I want to accomplish that tonight. I'd say we're friends. I did say we were friends in our letter, after all, Tom. I would say so. Let's see what we got. Ooh, festive paper again. Oh yeah, it's always festive paper. We got a Lunar Lander. Cool. Let's go sell it. Ah, oh, finally! I've been lugging around this umbrella forever to spin it. There we are. There we go. Redeem some town tickets. Let's do that. Because I want to anyways. How about... We shop for some more flowers. I want one with a, with a fast code. Go, I don't know which one has one though. Let's go with the white pansy. There we are, I've redeemed some town tickets. Kick a ball in the water. Oh, there, yes, this has a fast code. Alright, very good. Ball in the water though. Done. Right in the diary. Dang, it's so easy to find distractions. <laughs> I know what to do. I need to have a... I just need to do that. Oops. Actually, I'm going to rewrite it. Quick change. Quick edit. Here we are. Another barred knife jaw. Alright. Interesting. Let's go ahead and get the last item in Nooks. And... I want to... I'm going to purchase a handful of flowers. Let's see if these... Oops. What happened? Try it again. Uh, yes. Alright, all good? All good. I'm just going to buy one of each. And a sapling as well. Where are the saplings at? There's one. Alright. Let's 
go shop. Oops, no, let's go to our catalog. Very good. I want to see which ones have fast codes. Okay, blue cosmos. Let's do it. Uh-oh, that fast code looks wrong. <laughs> However, I have a feeling I know what it, it's supposed to be. I have a feeling I can guess. Oh, it's actually wrong. This fast code's wrong. That's fine. We'll, we can we can type in the regular code. It's not the end of the world. Noted, though. Noted. Somehow this code is wrong. It's off by a letter. I don't know what it's missing. Which, this code never really matters for 100% speedrun, so it probably... I probably just didn't ever catch it as a mistake. All good. Why we have this? There we go. Got it. Any? Can I type in more codes? Or do I have to save and continue? Or save and put? Ah, yes. Very good. Very good. Yeah, Wick, I highly recommend trying it if you like Animal Crossing. So, I want to plant flowers in acres that may have... Dang, that's a lot of flowers to plant. But I do want to try to get the perfect town on day... On, uh, on like, the earliest possible day. That pretty much, in order to ensure that, that pretty much requires flowers planted in every acre, in case you get three weeds to spawn at once. I guess if I spent the rest of my night doing this, I could pull it off, but I don't know if I really want to do that. Yeah, every flower offsets one weed for the for a perfect town. And my tasks are getting much harder to complete. I definitely do not have time to get 25 Nook Furniture today. Or no, I, I have time for 25 Nook Furniture, but I don't have time for 50. I might as well redeem my nook codes for the rest of the items. The rest of the flowers in the sapling.
Alright, next up. Ooh, a word. Black. Oh. oh, I missed something. What? I'm missing something. Huh? How? I'm missing a letter. How's that possible? That's so weird. It's not? Oh. not yes it is yeah it's missing out what do you mean it's not yes it is <laughs> but why would this one why would why would only this code have a cutoff letter oh it's not possible okay well I guess we're not receiving that item See, that one, that one's fine. That, that one has a cutoff letter, too. Huh. But that one also has a fast code. That one also has a cutoff letter. Why do, why do some of them have it and some of them don't? Hmm. Well, at least this one has a fast code. Oh, is it because the text box is too small? No. It, all the letters are the exact same width. That's why I chose Consolus as the font. Anyways, I received that. And... Get this one. Alright, well, I'll have to uh, look into that. You know, I know it's not you. I know it's not on the code generation. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll see if we can figure that out. I believe on the bright side. I believe all the codes are still valid, saved um, in the save text file and the save data. So even if this happens for other items and other codes, the worst case scenario is you have to go into your save file and. Ah, it's missing a letter. You can tell immediately. If you're paying attention. It, see, it's not the W. You can see there's a W right here at the end. What a weird bug. Alright, anyways. Call that good for those codes for now. Well, version 1.0.1 .1, coming to you soon. <laughs> it's something simple. No, sometimes the fast codes were off by one, and sometimes the non-fast codes were off by one. I have absolutely no idea. I'm wondering if it has something to do with the symbols. Some, like, somehow symbols are messing something up. That's my only guess. I'll look into it. I'm sure there's a perfectly valid reason. Anyways, let's go ahead and plant some more flowers. Here we 
Here looks good. I'm not sure I understand what you're saying, Sakura. Not sure I follow him. But I'm all for ideas. Alright, let's see. Where do I want to plant this flower? The message it from Nook is customized. Not for fast codes, of course. Well, it's all, I mean, it is, but... Yeah, he'll say you're, uh, this is from Town Tickets. Or do you want me to say it's from Brian MP16? <laughs> is that what you're saying? Ow. Ouch. The e-reader card or e-reader machine. Alright, let's go to the island and plant this sapling. It's a real pain to get an e-reader out of the Game Boy Advance. Yeah, that's what I that's that's what I have it uh that's what I have it set up for right now, cold. So it is already creating a personalized message from Tom Nook saying, yes, yes, your item has re been received from town tickets. Oh, it's raining on the island. Cool. That means we can get a snail on the island. That's cool. That's great. All right, we're going to do that. Good evening, Violet Pumpkin. Thank you for the congrats. I appreciate that. I am so excited that I got this released as well. And I caught one small bug, but I'll look into it. We'll get a version 1.0.1 .1 update. And it's not game-breaking. But I'll address it. Glad I found it. I figured there'd be some bugs for the first version release but i did my best to minimize bugs and and any crashes i did i i uh i tested this program out extensively for crashes and all good all right let's uh let's even get a snail there's anka hello anka can i write a note to you yet Good jade. So she oh, when I saved and quit, she put the retro stereo in her house. I'm trying to see if she'll um I got rid of the task. <laughs> You want a bug zapper? Sure. You can have the bug zapper, Anka. How can I say no? Alright, let's try to get a... Oh, yeah, let me... Let me plant this regular tree somewhere. We've... We have thought about if an islander counts for a villager. I ultimately decided no, but I don't know. It's still up for debate. All right, where do I plant this tree at? There's not a whole lot of room on this island. I 
I guess... I guess here is fine. Here is good. Oh yeah, let's go check out Anka's house. She should have a retro stereo, at the very least. Beautiful. Playing KK Dirge. Ooh, a harp. I can actually get that. I'm trying to see if she will let me write a note. Oh, you want a f you want the flame shirt? No, I like what you're wearing. Perfect. <laughs> Very good. All right, let's try to get a snail on the island. <laughs> she did call. She called me a selfish old bag. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what she called me. Oh, there's a snail. Let's go. I got a bug on the island. I got a snail. That is great. Oh, I just planted the tree. <laughs> That's fine. We'll go plant this peach tree. I want to do that anyways. I'm running low on time today. So I'm going to go ahead and start purchasing random Nook items in this shop. Nook furniture items. Orange box. Tape deck. These all count as furniture. Because they're in the furniture part of the catalog. Five. Six. Time to spend all my tickets. Eight. Nine. Ten. I want the cheapest thing so I can get crazy red items. ASAP. This is satisfying. Easy come, easy go. <laughs> all in a day's work. There, that's that's literally all of the <laughs> all of the diaries. Folding chair, bus stop, slot machine. I'm running low. Wobblina. Let's see what I'm at. Oh, I can't see it. Twenty-eight. I oh I got more than twenty-five. Alright, I met my goals for today. I got twenty-eight. Let's get a gold let's let's get all the chairs. There we go. Excellent. That should be 30. No, I don't want the detour arrow. Yes, I'm at 30. I'm at 30 uh, Nook Furniture. I surpassed my goal. Excellent. Now we can go to the catalog and look at all this stuff. Very nice. Alright, back to tasks. We'll do a few more tasks tonight. Call it good. Yes, cold. Agreed. 100% no code speedrun, but you can use town tickets for codes. Those are allowed. That sounds like a blast. That's pretty much what I'm going to do with this in this uh in this casual playthrough. All right. I want to plant another palm tree. Right there. There we are. Tree has been planted. Let's go interact with two gyroids. I know just the ones. Okay. Let's before I get too distracted with tasks. Is there anything else I want to try to accomplish today? I think I want to... I want to get a few redundant acres 
for perfect for the perfect town as far as number of trees in the acres. So I'm gonna go plant some extra trees in some acres in order to accomplish that. And I definitely want to interact with two gyroids in Alfonso's house. Wait, is there any house I haven't been into yet? What a quality house. Five thousand bells to Nook. All right, we'll finish the night off with that. Um, ooh, I could, I could, yeah, more trees in Nook's acre. That sounds good. Alfonso is amazing, isn't he? I agree. Okay, not there. Well, I kind of like, kind of like having less trees in Nook's. Fine. I guess I'll plant. It's fine. I'll plant a tree here. See if the peach tree grows here. Well, see if it grows here. Whatever. I can get more peaches, no problem. And then... One more tree somewhere in this acre. I put a tree here. I don't know if that was a good idea. Tree, tree. How about, how about just here? That's fine. All right, very good. Oh, I know what else I want to do. I want to go look for the other fossils and I want to make sure I have a fossil in my inventory. I want to put the Master Sword inside. <laughs> Alright. Final things. Sell this Bard Knife Jaw. Yeah, the post model's no joke to get. Master Sword. Very good. Never mind on the no code. 100% <laughs> RTA speedrun. I like it. Ah, it sounds, still sounds fun to me. And we'll drop off my tickets. My October tickets. What else do I want to do today? Any other final remaining items before I go to bed? Because I need to go to bed, like, very soon. I want to find the last few fossils, maybe. Get back up to 3k... Oops, where am I going? Back up to 3k... Town tickets. Sold out nooks. You found my channel through the post model video? That's awesome. I'm happy to hear that. You know what? Eh, it's fine. Let me go... Let me do one more village request, because it sounds fun. Tank, what do you need? Tank. Come on, one more. One more quest. As I run around. Rhoda's also inside. Tom. What do you need? And you want me to write you another letter? Alright, fine. I'll write you another letter. That was the last thing you asked for me to do.
There. You know what? Tom's getting a flame shirt. <laughs> That'll be a good way to end the stream. Three fossils is fine, because you can only donate three at a time anyways to the museum. I'll briefly run around looking for one after I complete this last quest. Last task as well. Maybe we'll find a balloon as well. But otherwise, I'll need I need to go to bed. <laughs> oh, thank you. I have such a way with words. I appreciate that. I know. I know. I've been writing lots of letters for a very long time in this game. I've refined the art of perfect letters. Oh, I forgot to include a gift. Oh, he's not going to like that. I forgot. Oh, wait. I gave him a flame shirt. We're good. Now I, I, I remember the flame shirt. Whew. Thought I forgot the flame shirt. Nah, we're good. He's going to love it. Absolutely perfect gift. Distracted. Catch this cockroach. One quick final check around town for any other fossils I may have missed. I found all three gyroids, which is cool. And final, final chance for a balloon. Final chance for balloons. Two hundred percent. Ah, one hundred percent in the game and one hundred percent in town tickets. Yes. That is a crazy idea. They they're you they could probably go pretty close hand in hand. But well actually no. They couldn't because trying to complete all the tasks in the town tickets program is extremely challenging. But it can be done. But yeah, it's not like it's not like 100%ing the town tickets program will 100% the game or vice versa. I like it. Great idea, Cold. All right, Tom, I wrote you a letter. Where, where's your flame shirt? I wrote you a flame shirt. All right, I, 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 I gifted you a flame shirt. Why aren't you wearing it? Tom's not purple. Tom's blue, unless you're talking about Bob. And then yes, then you're right. Bob is purple. Yeah, Cold's first thought of this program is how can I make this the most challenging uh, speedrun possible? <laughs> Alright, we got our final task. That package you sent me was cool. Thanks. You're not bad after all. Can't wait for your next package. Horse. We got a vaulting horse. All right, yeah, I'm not selling two wallpapers to Nook. So very good. That will that will do it for the final final task for the day. Final check for a random fossil buried around town somewhere. Not the end of the world. I got three, which is again the minimum amount I would like to find, but it is kind of weird I haven't been able to find the other two with... Oh, there's one. Yeah, I didn't... I, I guess it makes sense I didn't go over here. Alright, that's good. That's good enough. Four out of five is fine. We'll find the fifth one later. Not... Doesn't really matter, since you can only donate three at a time. And... Final things I want to do today. Keep this. Nah. I am... Oh, it's a work uniform. Yeah, we'll keep it here. I need to go to bed. I would say that was a successful program. 
Successful first day, successful program. I caught one small bug, I'll address that. Shouldn't require too much uh, problem solving. And uh, yeah, good stuff. Go ahead and save. Call it a stream. Nice. Here, how about uh, we recap with the achievements? So, what have we accomplished today? We have already spent four and a half hours playing one unique day. 113 tasks today. 47 of them were unique. 18,000 total tickets. 14,000 tickets were exchanged. <laughs> 43 total item codes and unique codes. 30 furniture, 3 handhelds, 10 miscellaneous. And the tasks I have completed are here as follows. There we are. The one I completed the most was complete a villager quest. And then the second most was redeem tickets. And then the third most was plant a tree. Cool! Fun stuff, and here are the rest. I caught a carp, sea bass, barred knife jaw, and bagworm. Bagworm was the only bug task I got all day, besides catch five bugs, so that was crazy. Uh, but all good. Fun stuff. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed day one of the Town Tickets program. I will stream again tomorrow. And we'll see what we can do on day two.